Recently I got a request for an examination system where you can click and rotate around objects and really inspect them. And because I'm nice to my viewers, here it is, a tutorial on an examination system. We will examine this pizza. So you can click and rotate the pizza, look at them or at the pizza from any angle you want. And this was all done by using the scriptable render pipeline. The workflow is very different from the standard render pipeline. And as you may see, the background isn't static. I can navigate in the background, I can navigate in the foreground. So these are really different renders composed together. Let's create a project and we will select the Lightwide render pipeline and create it. So here we are, this is the default scene if you open the project. In the old render pipeline you could just now stack cameras, but this is not possible anymore. I will give you the link to the issue tracker if you want to have the look at it. Uh, Unity just says, okay, you have to write your own shader, write your own post-processing process, render the normal game, render the other things into a separate texture, then put it in the post-processing uh, anyhow and then magically it all comes together and everyone is complaining about it But this is what we will do here, but you do not have to be afraid It's not that complex because I already written a post-processing um, Steps that you can use so the link is down in the description It is in the asset store and you just import it It's not there now because it's still in request But as soon as the video comes out, I think I can give you the link the other asset I use is a PBR pizza. You do not need to import the pizza, you can use any object. But so make sure after you import the asset you have the post-processing um, texture overlay folder and a pizza folder or anything else in your assets that you want to display. Unfortunately the pizza is not ready for the new scriptable render pipeline so go to edit render pipeline and upgrade selected materials seat and there we go the material looks fine again the material is in the folder materials of the pizza doesn't matter if you do not use a pizza but uh, just drag and drop your object anywhere in the scene and give it a proper position for example zero 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 I will drag it here you could go to gizmos and then to light probe group and deselect it here so you won't see it again we will need a second camera, so we will create a camera right here, uh, move it a little bit back. So you see in the camera preview, the pizza is rendered. Now we need some layers. So the pizza should go to the UI layer and the camera itself should only render the UI layer. So you do not select everything, you just select nothing and then the UI layer. And then you see the pizza is rendered pretty well. For the other camera in the scene, where is it? Ah, there it is. You just say, okay, do not render the UI. So now you have really two distinct renders. I can move the camera here and nothing is rendered. And the other camera can be moved anywhere so you won't see the pizza. Uh, then you know everything is white. Let's create a UI canvas and we will create a UI text and a UI image and the image will be sped out so hold shift alt and click this button here and the same with the text but this time you click this button and I like the image to be a little bit darker around here the alpha the text should be something like pizza but this is not uh, very important so you could even leave this out and then you um, just make this a little bit bigger the height a little bit higher and then the pizza word should appear make sure that the font size is always a little bit lower than the height itself i will give it a white look click here and there and there we go we got our pizza pizza in place. Now the canvas should be in the screen space of the camera and you select the camera uh, we just created. So I will rename my camera to the UI camera and then I can drag and drop it here. Screen space. There we go. This is okay. The plane distance should be far enough. 
Okay, let's bring it all together to one screen because if we go to the game view, we only see this one and this is not what we want. So we will create a render texture, right mouse click, create custom render texture, just call it something you want. For example, UI, drag and drop it into the UI camera, target texture, there you go. Make sure the resolution is um, the resolution you are aiming at. For example, full HD is always a good idea. And now we go to the pros post processing volume and we will add an effect. Now digital games should be appear, uh, should appear and you choose texture overlay and you mark the texture because you want to change it and set the texture here. Now you should see something like this. So make sure you are in game mode. So the UI camera is rendering something and overlay it over the other. Um, just check don't care at the background type. So now you see it's really overlaying here. To make this text stand out, I will drag and drop it in front of the image. So the only thing that's left is to rotate this pizza. We will create a turn script and add it directly to our pizza. We need two variables here. The last position of the frame and the UI camera. Now on update we check if the mouse button down Debo is pressed, so the left mouse button, because with the right mouse button you already got a script here from the standard assets that you can look in your scene. And then we set the position of the last frame to input mouse position. Okay, if the user just um, holds the mouse button down, we will do the same thing all over again. So we will um, get the delta, so the current mouse position minus the mouse position of the last frame. So in the first frame, it's basically the same position as here. And then we update the last frame position. Delta is now very easy. For example, I have my mouse here and I moved it here. Then I wanted to do the following. Uh, if this is my object here, a cube, I want to rotate the cube around this axis. So it's like holding it here and dragging it there. And therefore I have to calculate the axis. And this is the axis of the delta uh, multiplied by minus 90 degrees. And then you get this axis here. Um, and this is done by having the delta, taking the forward vector and uh, rotate it by 90 degrees. Why is the forward vector? Because the screen has two different axes, X and Y, but uh, the mouse position also has a Z component, but that Z component is always zero. And if you imagine to, to um, stick one axis here and say, okay, rotate around it, then you rotate it on the screen. So the axis is now the axis on the screen. And then we just say, okay, uh, with the amount of drag I did, divided by a lower number because otherwise the thing would rotate too fast. You can regulate the speed here. We will rotate our object and uh, multiply it by our current rotation. You will get the new rotation. Just set it to the object and you are there. And here we go. It doesn't look that right. So let's change some things. So get rid of the custom render uh, texture, you should use the render texture instead. Uh, sorry for that, but we will fix it in a minute. Just say, okay, render it from here to here. And that's how you see where the connection is from. Uh, make sure to have the right resolution, for example, full HD. As soon as I hit play, the size is also fixed. And now that's what we're talking about. So here we are. So it, it might seem a little bit dark sometimes or affected by light. You can fix this by either go to the material um, and say, okay, on the UI, I want uh, unlit material. So you can change your material from lit to unlit. Now your material is not in, um, affected by the light. So it's always shiny or you go to the scene and add some lights here. 
For example, here directly above my pizza, I want to have a light and make sure that the coloring mask is set to UI. So that is only affecting the pizza and now you have a nice light from above. I would even recommend you to really finish your scene by uh, adding an effect called depth of field. And uh, I would deactivate it if you are um, in the game and normally navigating around. And if you are inspecting an object, you bring up the UI um, and the texture overlay. So I would activate them together in your case. Bring the aperture down, the focal length up, and now you really focus on the object itself instead of the other things that are going on. So that's it. That's how you can create an inspection system in Unity. Um, if you want to know more, just leave me a comment. I will show in the next tutorial how you can create your own post-processing um, effect and how you can use the stack to really uh, white shaders on your own and create beautiful uh, filters and yeah leave a like if you like the video see you next time bye subscribe to my channel to get more straight to the point tutorials